Hey guys, welcome to our Sometimes Thursday shop tour. It's actually every Thursday. It's just sometimes we don't know when it's going to be. So <laughs> Sometimes we're at 9.30, sometimes we're at 10.30. It's 10.14, so earlier than before. We're super excited. We have some things on sale, so we're going to show those first. Um, new items, and then um, Zeb wanted to show you guys the Valentine's display like one more time because we're probably going to switch it out to a little bit more spring here yep. in another week. And I also wanted to show you a fun way that we like to display like lots of smaller items and the things that we do here in the shop. So that way, if you guys have a booth, maybe you would want to do um, something similar. So let's get started. All right, sale items first. Shoe of the week. Shoe of the week. Zeb gets to pick the shoe of the week. We have these leopard flat sneakers. That's what they look like. They are in the cell collection. They're also in JRV closet. Everything in JRV closet ships free. To the 48 contiguous states. To the 48. Okay, so this, uh, this sneaker, it was uh, $28.95, and we've dropped them to $18.95. And we have a few sizes. I think we've got a size five. I think we've got a size six. I know we've got a size eight, and some size nines, and some a 10, and some 11s. You'll have to look and see what's in stock. I just inventoried them, make sure that everything really was right. They're comfy. They're like the squishy shoe <clears throat> with the fun back. Um, I have a pair, and I wore them close. to the ground a few summers ago. <clears throat> and we're just getting rid of them because we're gonna be changing up the clothing and whatnot that we are selling. And so I'm letting Zeb pick a shoe of the week. They're nice and low, and then they have this stretchy back, so they do stay firm on your foot, even if you don't tie them tight. They have elastic here on the tongue, so you don't really need to tie them. The laces are just for looks. They stay on your foot real nice, and then they've got a nice soft insole, and just this, this I like the toe on it. I think it's kind of I cool. always, like, when I see those, I'm like, my grandma Taylor would approve of those shoes. She would have worn those. Um, if you want to shop, just jamierayvintage.com. Everything is on there. If it's a sale item, it's in the sale collection. If it's home decor, it's in the home decor collection. Um, and if it's like, if you see something and it's thrifted, that's in the thrift store collection. But I did just drop the sale collection in comments. If you can't find something, um, let me know. Uh, but we don't do any like uh, invoicing through comments. You just have to go to the website, to the sale collection and order through there. I'll drop that sale um, link just one more time for you. It's pretty simple. We. Most, our regular customers are used to shopping on the website, but if you're new, I just wanna let you know how that's done for shopping. So um, next, let's talk about some leggings and joggers. We're slowly working through our leggings and jogger collection. Some of them are newer, and I'm just gonna be keeping those in stock, but some of them I'm not gonna be bringing back, and so those are the ones we've marked down. I realized when I pulled all these that I didn't have anything plus size, so I went ahead and grabbed our super buttery soft plus size leggings in burgundy. And these are a one size fits all. So 1X to 3X, super soft leggings. They were um, $14.95 and we marked them down to $9.95 and that does include shipping. Now these are a straight leg, right? They're not These are big. a straight leg legging. They're super, super buttery soft and um, they are a one size plus size legging. So they are made to fit 1X to 3X. Best way I can describe how this fabric feels on all of these is if you've ever held like a brand new kitten or like within a week or two and they're just like fuzz and super, super soft, that's the way these feel. I, super soft is important to me. I'm actually currently, we don't have these anymore, but I'm currently wearing joggers. They're like life. I think I actually slept them in them last night, but I did change my shirt. They double as pajama pants. <laughs> we have restocked our vintage sole shirts. So if you've been waiting for a size in this, Ivy just restocked them last night. And those are just in the JRV closet, or you can just search vintage sole at jamierayvintage.com and this shirt will pop up. But I just want to let you guys know they are restocked because they were sold out. Okay, so next item. These are all joggers. So I have two size small, and these are regularly $19.95, and they've been marked down to $12.95. These are exactly like I the ones I'm wearing, tough. except for these are colored, and I actually do own these as well. And the small, like right now I'm wearing a medium, and I normally wear a large, so like if you wear a medium, you could probably get in the small unless you are, are have a very big derriere. Unless you're real that. hippie. Unless you're hippie, then you definitely want a medium, but the smalls are nice and generously sized. Because nobody wants tight joggers. No. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when your underwear starts getting tight, like it's time to get new underwear because <laughs> you gotta get have comfy underwear and you gotta have comfy joggers. So super soft. These are the purple and gray floral joggers. And they've been marked down to 12.95. dollars 
We have lots of people hopping on. If you guys like this video, um, be sure to share it out with your friends. Friends don't let friends pay full price. All right, next, uh, cherry blossom. We have in a small and a medium. I actually totally love these. They're perfect for spring. Um, I like the color on them. We're just not recarrying this particular um, style. This reminds me of the decoupage paper we have a little bit, except for it's got more birds and it's pink. The hot pink one? Yeah. Yeah, it does have a similar look to that. And again, the cuff on the bottom, elastic waist, drawstring, pockets. So all of these have pockets except for the leggings, but our joggers all have pockets in them, which is very important. Okay, next, we're moving along. These are actually not joggers. These are sets. So it is a shirt and biker set, biker shorts. Leopard print. And they, they're they Is connected. it leopard or cheetah? I say it's leopard. I think it's cheetah. Cheetahs aren't gray. But I think you can get these gray are like leopards. almost a knee length short, just above the knee. Super buttery soft, just like the joggers. And then a cute are those, little shirt. Oh, it's the pajama uh, set. I was like, are those linked together? Like I thought it was two pairs of shorts. No, they, we link them together so we don't lose them. You don't want to be like shipping the wrong size together. No. I actually have these. That They're could be chaos. Super comfy pajamas, and the shirt is cute enough that you could totally just wear it. Same thing with the shorts. No one's like, gonna know. No one's I would gonna totally know. wear these biker shorts with a more solid black top, maybe with some white words on it, or flip this and do like a really cute pair of skinny jeans with this shirt. So pajamas, but also like you can wear them out. They're so, super cute. So on the note of sharing, we have started picking winners from all the shares of the week. Um, doesn't like this video other videos as long as you share it shows us who shared our stuff on Facebook so we can pick Winners from that. What did we send? It's have not we... really a contest. It's just yeah, like it's, a thank you. So let's have to say, yeah. say winners. We had two We've already reached out to them and they've um, given us their address and we're mailing their um, Little surprises in the mail. What and surprises just... this week? What are you sending? Um, so one of them's in the UK, so it's gonna have to be something flat. So I'm thinking like decoupage paper and a stencil. Okay. And then the other gal I think was from Pennsylvania, and so I don't know, something fun. I've actually got to pick it up when we're done with this live, so we can ship it out to them today. So if you share that, just know you can be. Uh, it enters you in to be to get like a little fun reward for sharing. There you go. So, anyways. Cute. These are $9.95, I think I loaded them, or $12.95. Let me double check on these ones. I can't remember. They were $16.95, and that includes shipping. I just leopard biker short set. So I gotta talk to myself. Oh, um, $9.95, <laughs> and we have a small, medium, and large in this set. So you get the top and the bottom for $9.95, and that includes shipping. So basically, you're paying for shipping, and you get these for free because that's a really good deal. <laughs> We're just moving stuff along. All, all right. right, is that all for the sale stuff? Now we have some new things. These are the no, frogs. No, we have more sale. Where's more sale? Okay, so I had organized. Oh, you these had These are organized. on sale. These are on sale. Let me show these close because they're so small. I got These are new but also on sale because I got a really good deal on them, so I'm passing that deal along. Mini wire birdcage. Yeah, so the regular price is $7.95, but we're selling them for $4.95, and they're super cute. I think you could use them in a vignette. You can put a little tea light in there. There's a lot of options for these. They're five inches tall by three and a quarter on the diameter. And they are $4.95. Um, and I just think they're really cute. I mean, I'm not sad about them. So the next thing that is on sale is the paper towel holder. It um, was $22.95 and they're marked down to $16.95. I know this is probably controversial because some people have opinions about paper towels. So if you do, I apologize. If you look into paper towels though, a lot of them are pretty renewable. They're using, they're using bamboo and invasive type plants to make stuff like this these days. Yeah, so they're just, getting pretty forward with the paper just products. I think this is so cute for like a dining table, just to like keep your paper towels on the dining table. And then you just put the little sheet through. It's almost, or like um, in the summertime, how cute would this be like on your outdoor table to keep out there for picnics and whatnot. So. Again, this one is, we just have two of them. They are $16.95 and they were $22.95 for these. All right, so I think. They got little feet on them. And they got little feet on them. These are, that's the last of the sale items. I see links being dropped. That means Caitlin is here. Hey, so Caitlin. thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is like not our regularly scheduled live here. And, and the timing is always different. So sometimes Caitlin can pop on and sometimes she can't and yeah. that's okay. 
We just love it when she's here because she's a lot better than me. All right, so next we're gonna move on to, we have had different tin ribbon before, but the previous style sold out. Um, and this tin ribbon was $9.95 and we actually, I forgot, these are also on the sale collection, I believe. Hold on, hold please. Do you have a ton of these? Um, are there more than I'm seeing here? I don't think so. Tin ribbon is super great for all kinds of crafts. It works on frames. It works to go around the bottom of like small tables That's and, not it. That's and the rounds, the uh, pedestals, candlesticks. You can just do all kinds of stuff with them. Flower ribbon. And this one here, I believe, is. Is that the flower ribbon? It's uh, 1.34 inches tall, is what it says, by 118 inches long. So just a little over 10 feet, 10 and a half feet. Floral metal ribbon. Sorry, it took me a minute to find that Is this one. floral? They don't look floral. Yeah, um, yeah, there's like little florals in there in between the little heart shaped things. Okay, all right. And they, it was $9.95 and they're $7.95 and we have six of them. Our metal ribbon does typically sell pretty fast. So definitely if you like that one, pick it up because I don't know. It's not a lot of places that carry it. Yeah, well, so. I just don't know how many they have of them. I wound up ordering a different ribbon that they didn't have, and they offered me this one. That's how I got it on sale. So that was kind of fun. All right, now I, I promise we are also, we're done with sale now. We're done with sale stuff. We're done with it. So. Okay. So this pedestal, I've not seen it. It's new. It, that it's is new. new to me. It does. Um, <laughs> this is a perfect example together. of what you can do with the tin. Look, this is similar tin around the top of that. Now this is a little bit more open, but you could get a similar look with this. How do you connect tin ribbon to whatever you put it on? Um, people just nail it in a lot. Yeah, you can nail it with small nails. Um, it's, it's lightweight enough if you can bend it into shape, like a construction adhesive would probably hold that. Um, like there's, there's a lot of ways you could do, do that. Are the left ones black and white online? It's only brown one mainly um no they're black white and gray i think it's it says which ones they are okay, i'll double check why don't you show them that cake plate it's 33.95 it does have to be screwed together so you can take it apart for shipping assembly whatever but i think it's really cute i photographed it with sheep on it but you could use it for treats you could get a bit cloche um whatever you want it's to do almost the, it is not um gray skies in the cottage colors but it's basically that color. This is cottage color in gray skies. Caitlin, there is a, a picture that says gray, like in the, in the pictures, if you scroll through it. No dome with this one. So you're going to have to go thrift one or get one of our thrifted ones if you want that, but. All right. So just a, just a pedestal. At this I think point. we only have two of those and they're super cute. And then we're going to show, I wanted to show you this. When we have small items like these, these sold out last week and I ordered 24 more. Are these of, wide mouth? They're wide mouth. Apparently I did not order enough for what people wanted. They're $4.95. There are rusty. They're floral fro frogs. Yeah, you put them on the top of a canning jar and then you put your flowers in there and arrange them. And we actually had two people buy us out last week because I just had six. So I was like, you know what? I'm buying 24 more and I just want to show you in the shop they're going to be displayed like this instead of having them like separate when I have little items like this I like to group them together and because people just like to dig through little things I don't know why it's really fun and yeah. instead of tagging them individually I'll just have one tag on there that says $4.95 the vintage tin trough is also for sale we have these in a couple different oh, yeah. sizes and it is uh, $36.95 yeah, so but those little frogs are four dollars and ninety five cents. So we need to find a spot for them. Where do you think we should oh, put them? I don't know. Are we done? Is that all the yeah, things? Yeah, that's all the things on our little table oh, here. We're gonna speaking of cloche, let me show you. We have this one from last week. That's, that's a little pleasant. small. It's a big tray. It's big. But you get the idea. All right, let's go on walkabout. I wanna show you maybe we'll just put this up. Okay, it was like jar display. frogs. I know. They're they should be in there. Um, in the new items, Caitlin, let me know if you can't find them. All right, we're going to go over this way, so okay. follow us so we can hear you. You want me to follow you? Just over to here. All right. All right, so the Valentine's display has been super fun, but as you all know, Valentine's Day is coming quickly. We've actually sold down quite a bit. We have a couple of the lace embroidered hearts still available. Um, we have a few of the heart dobles still available. We've sold, 
all but two of our cute little Valentines. We've had a lot of people come in and pick up these. These are $16.95, and I think these are in the thrifted collection. I made these. Does so this it's fun that the things are selling down. I probably should sell the, mo the shirt on my mannequin after Valentine's Day and do a spring shirt, but I'll keep the skirt, and maybe I'll just add like some green tulle into it or ribbon. That way I can just spring it up a little bit. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me see if I have questions here. Well, and we've sold, we just keep adding more cards up here. Some of these are the same, but we have the, the cards down here for people to go through. I don't know. Can, oh, there you can see them. Um, uh, it's in there somewhere, unless it fell out on my way over here. But we just keep putting cards up there, and it's, it's been super fun. Yeah, I like that idea. I think it's something that we'll probably keep around even, like, next time I'm going to have to try to buy some, like, Christmassy type cards. So next week, this will probably still have some of these elements here, but we'll probably change some of the pink out. We might wait until, after, wait until Valentine's after Valentine's Day. Day. Because Valentine's Day is one of those things where I feel like, no offense to the dudes in the world, but they wait till like the last day and they're like, oh crap, what's your favorite shop? And literally on Valentine's Day, we will have a bunch of dudes come in shopping for their wives, which is fine because I'm here to sell them stuff, you know, whenever they want it. <laughs> but so I'll probably leave this up till Valentine's Day and we'll switch it out for something a little bit more spring. We did put up, you want to show them our baskets? We got those. Oh yes, the, the two. baskets that we showed them how to make on, was it Friday? I think it was Friday. Yeah, and I, I told them, like, this will stick down. Remember when I said, like, I didn't even use glue. Like, this fabric is so stuck down. So that liquid patina did its job. This is the new JRV stencils that just came out. And um, the, just the laundry baskets that we thrifted. So those turned out really fun. I'm going to do more baskets like that for sure. Then we have the wall hanging baskets. These were new a couple weeks ago. This set, this is where they're going to live. Um, it's a set of three for $29.95, and they're flat on the back, so you can hang them or, you know, they stand on their own, too. Lots of, lots of fun baskets for springtime. I'm going to see if there's any questions. Deborah says, oh, man, I need more money. I'm like, that, I hear you. Oh, these are new. These I, are, I was these. just going to say, I, all, I know so when we pretty. get new cutting boards, and, and I didn't make them, so. Is the lighting good? Can they see those? Yeah. So these are so $23.95. They're acacia cutting boards. And Hardwood. So cute. I like the length of them because I'm always cutting like lettuce or a cucumber or Baguette a zucchini. Or just be for display, like and a little they're charcuterie. They're small, but they're big enough that they can be useful. If an intruder comes in, you could probably beat them with that. Home, home defense. <laughs> Weapon grade cutting board. So yeah, those are new. What are those called? I just want to make sure that they uh, can find acacia, the list. Acacia, they're just acacia cutting board. A-C-A-C-I-A. -A yeah, I always like it when I can find those. Um, oh, we did, this is new. We just put it, remember our cute little, um, this is that hot pink frame. Do you guys remember that? Now we've got it on display here. I am so glad it's not hot pink anymore. It was a lot of effort to get that thing covered, but I feel like it's much better off. Oh, and I also wanted to show them I said that we were going to show displays of smaller items together. This is our little dryer ball display. You we're selling that was full a week ago yeah, on we all three need tiers. Yeah, we actually to move this down, so I'll refill these. Do we have more? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Jamie's been collecting these. They're like Aren't Japanese they so cute? pottery planters. I think they're all Japanese. Yeah, they're for like they're yeah, vintage. They would have had plants in them when people have babies. I'm gonna fill up. Here. Oh, you do have more of those. Where did you magically get those? I keep them under there. Okay. So I can restock. Look how cute this is. This. I don't know if you can even see it. They're little lambs faces they're on sheep, these sheep on balls. these wool balls for your dryer. So if you have what these are used for, if you have like static issues, instead of going through a bunch of dryer sheets, you can just throw these wool balls in there, and they work the same. Oh, we also need, I forgot, I need to ask Maria to make me a little, these are our little sample dish soaps. Again, cutesy little display here. It's half empty, so I like to have my displays full. So I'll go home and shrink wrap some more of our sample size dish soaps, and I like to have it nice and full. Same thing with our little displays here with our Eiffel Towers. It just makes it look more inviting. So if you are a reseller, Keep that in mind, you don't want things to look sparse because for whatever reason, there's just like one left. A lot of times people don't want to take it. 
it's it's a weird strange like in your brain thing so that's always good for stock. Well, or they want two or three and if there's only one they're not going to grab it i said we were going to be quick but i forgot we have new scents new scents and we need to play zeb smells some new things all right so let me, I always like to see if they actually smell like what they say, because the uh, science of making things something different than what it is smell like something else is fascinating. To oh, me. and by the way, if you go to our antique candle company collection, we have all of our uh, pumpkin spice, pecan pie, cozy cabin, tree farm, which I thought we were sold out of. Um, Still got some tree farm, which is a very Christmassy. Like literally like you're in a tree farm with a bunch of cut trees. All of our Christmas and fall scents are on sale on the website, um, but we also have some new scents. Oh, so Mama's Kitchen. Mama's Kitchen, let's smell it. Does this smell like bacon and biscuits? No, not, not that kitchen. I don't think well, they're making a bacon scent, scented candle. Well, someone really should look into that. We'll work on that. So what does it smell like? All right, so it smells very fresh and like uh, floral, almost like a fruity smell. Like something's been baking. It kind so it's of got like a little pie. pie it, I was gonna not... say it's got a little pie here, and I could like a spicy apple pie. Yeah, but it's not like overly fall no. I could it's, spice. it's yeah. just like mom's been cooking in the kitchen and doing dishes. I'm trying to nail that. It's like almost almost like a cinnamony apple, but more floral. I, it's hard to describe. It's very good. If you're not sure if you want them, we have, we're starting to carry more of the candles in two ounces. So the big candles like this are 20. These are 28.95. And the little ones are 9.95. So if you're not ready to make a full size commitment, we carry all the new ones and I'm starting to slowly pick up. The cool the thing about these is they're poured in Indiana um, and it's just, it's a reusable jar. The lid is good. Like, also they burn for a very long time. We burned one the entire night the other night and it wasn't all the way gone. We forgot to blow it out in the kitchen. Shh. Yeah, and Don't Eliza came down the stairs and she blew it out, and then uh, she she let everybody know that you know they're under the antique candle company, so all of them are on there, even like the fall Christmas scents, and you'll just see that they mark down to eighteen ninety five, and that's how you know that they're one. So on, antique so. candle co. If anyone that works there randomly sees this video, if we could get like a bacon and biscuits situation going for Mama's Kitchen, take two. I promise these all smell delicious because these are actually a huge seller in our shop. Um, people come in specifically for these candles. All right, so the blueberry pie or the blueberry cobbler makes me want to eat it. It delivers. Like we should probably not bring this one home because I'm trying not to eat sweets right now or gluten. You could eat your salad and then smell the candle and eat your <laughs> salad and smell the candle. So blueberry cobbler is a new scent that we've just brought in as well as the mama's kitchen. Is the pecan pie we've had? Have yeah, we? so the pecan pie we've had. Um, so those are just the two new ones, Mama's Kitchen and Blueberry Cobbler. So and are then, these ones with the old labels on sale? No, not those ones. Not it's the fall ones. ones. The fall ones. The fall so ones with the pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin, cozy, pecan, homemade ginger. They're all marked down to eighteen ninety five. We do still have some of these. Caitlin, I don't know if you want to drop the link for the wax melts. If you have the are wax those in the sale collection? No, these are in the, if you want them, you best get them because... They don't make them anymore, collection. They're only six ninety five. They're six ninety five for these. Eight melts? Yeah, they went from doing the melts to the little two ounce candles. And we just started carrying sweet lemon in the two ounce as well as the two new scents. And as we start selling the two ounce, I'll start carrying more of the larger ones in the two ounce. But a lot of these larger ones, we do have the wax melts, which people sometimes, they like to date before they marry. And so they date with a cheaper one, and then they marry I think they most people are like that. Let me get the sample size. Can I get the trial? Where's the free trial or the less expensive trial in this case? And go from there. Yep. All right. So I just want to show you the new scents. Um, just so you know, these candles are all soy-based, hand-poured cotton um, wick candles. They are made in the USA. Um, in Lafayette, Indiana. So love supporting small business. Love that they're hand poured. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about them, let us know. And hopefully Caitlin can drop that link to the two ounce candles and the wax melts. All right, because I like to do it, I'm gonna give you a quick pan. I think that's all we've got for this morning. We got a thousand things we gotta do today. So, you know, from the entryway. Dance. You're gonna dance? And Shot then... Jamie Ray. <laughs> oh, chandelier. We never really see that unless you come in because it's 
high and I don't show it, but just a little quick pan of the shop here. Oh, Jay, we had somebody ask if we have an orange scent. We have... Oh, orange scent. I'm still giving a pan. From high up. This is, this is from real high. This is like double my height perspective. Is there any dust? Can you guys see the dust? I'm sure there's some. It's an old building. <laughs> okay, so we don't have an orange scent, but I we will see if they lemon? have one. If we sell some down and I need to reorder, I'll see if they have an orange grove. And if I you need order. some orange scent, just get some citrusol. Oh yeah, we do have orange scented cleaner. <laughs> that, that cleaner over there is all supernatural and it smells like orange juice. Like We haven't actually talked oranges. about it a lot, but that's because it's my favorite and <coughs> I just want to hoard it. So this is new. It's $45 for this. However, it makes 44 gallons of all-purpose cleaner. So you're gonna buy it and then we'll see you back for another buy like so, in two yeah. years. So yeah, I mean, you can do it more concentrated for like serious situations, but the Citrus Solve is $45.95 and you're gonna get, and it's also like a uh, USDA certified bio-based product, 95% of it is bio-based. So it's good for the environment and it's nice that it comes in a small package and you can make so many as opposed to buying like 40, five squirt bottles, 45 gallon size bottles. <laughs> Anyways, oh. all right guys, I think that's it. Thank you guys for the people that have shared this out. Thank you for the stars. Thanks for shopping and supporting our cute little uh, antique church shop here in Lehigh, Utah. If you're local, we'd love for you guys to come by. We are open Tuesday through Friday from 10 to six and Saturday from 10 to four. And that's at 1190 North, 500 West in Lehigh, Utah. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. We've Somewhere. got, I, we're ambitious, but we also have a lot to do. We have a ton of projects we want to get out. And I may do a separate video just repairing the giraffe so you guys can see that. Because many, many people just want to see, they're not interested in the giraffe that we thrifted. That'll be next week. They're more interested in how I'm going to fix it. So Somebody wants to know if you painted those stairs yet. We haven't painted the stairs. That's not critical so it's not getting done plot twist haven't painted the stairs in the shop yet but when we do you guys are gonna be the first to know all right love you guys thanks for watching be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy and shop tours catch you guys later